Hey there guys and gals, I just want to throw this video together to kind of walk people through how to actually read the documentation for Godot. Now, this is going to be aimed at people who are not really familiar with it. Now, when you're actually in Godot, you have access to the engine APIs themselves. You need to be in the script tab and actually to, to actually see the search help icon up here. And if you click on it, you'll it'll bring up a little dialogue that allow you to search through the engine API. So for example, let's say we're trying to do something with the sprite and we want more information about it. We'll just search for it. All right. So we have the sprite. Yep. That's what we want. And here we are. We can see it now in here. You see the class documentation for the class of sprite and at the top you can see the name and then below that you have the inheritance tree and that is read from right to left so it would be read as object node canvas item node 2d and if you're not familiar with inheritance all inheritance really means is any property method or t uh, signal that you actually see in one of these classes its children have access to that as well now just moving moving right along here the brief description is exactly what it sounds like it's just a quick overview of what this class is then we have the properties the verbiage on the right is the property name so that's going to be what you'd be typing into the text editor of your choosing in order to utilize that property and the verbiage on the left is the property data type so for example if you uh, look at v frames here it's of type integer uh, and the same thing goes with methods. The verbiage on the right is the method name along with the parameter list. And the verbiage on the left is the methods return type. After methods, we have signals. And this just gives you a d quick description of what that signal actually does. And then we have a more in-depth description of the class, some tutorials, uh, a lot of a lot of the classes actually don't have tutorials in here, so this is going to be a very commonly skipped over section, but there are some that do, and I do encourage you to keep your eye out for those. And now after the tutorial section, we have the property descriptions, and this kind of is what actually tells you how the what these properties actually do or what, what the purpose of them for. For example, uh, if if we check if we check the centered uh, property, if it's true, it means that the texture is centered. There, we, now we know what that property does. Now it's the same thing with uh, method descriptions. It gives you a description of what that method does, and then you should be able to reason about when you would want to use it or why you would want to use it. Now, in order to navigate, you can also just navigate over here on the left, and it just goes through those sections you can also cl uh, click on the property name or the method name and it'll jump you straight to that property or method and if you do it on the left side such as the data type or the return type it'll take you to that cl uh, class pages uh, documentation now while we are actually in uh, the script, for example, we can just control click on either a method or class or what have you, and it'll open that documentation. And here we are, so we can just quickly get last mouse speed, and it tells us what that uh, property actually does. Or, or did I click on a method? Yeah, I clicked on a method. All right, um, now. If you actually run into any issues with the documentation, maybe a typo, maybe something isn't uh, as clear as it can be, you can click on, click on the Request Docs button, and it will take you straight to the documentation uh, GitHub so you can raise your concerns there. And the documentation team will be able to address it as well as know where they should be spending a little bit more time with their efforts. And if you click on the online docs, it'll take you to Godot's uh, website, and then you just scroll down at the bottom left, and you click on Godot API, and here's the exact same thing that's built into the engine, except on the web, in case this is what you want to do, the how you want to actually reference the class APIs, and it follows the same principles. 
Now, uh, if you actually go into this search help, you can actually also quickly see that these little lines here kind of show you the inheritance tree. So right here, okay, so Sprite is a child of Node because we have that line right there, and then Node 2D is a Sprite is a well, let me go to Node 2D. It's a child of the canvas item. So that right there is the inheritance tree. Now in in here you can also search directly for method names. So let's say for example uh look at and we're already there. Uh we just hit enter or return and it will take us straight to that documentation page. Uh that pretty much covers everything that I do want to cover about how to read the documentation. I strongly encourage that you actually read it, uh, get used to it, as it does provide a source of a lot of information and it can really help speed up your development time, as sometimes uh, your question may go quite some time not being answered. So if you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I hope you have a wonderful day.